Hello, and welcome to Link Cable. Hello, and welcome to Link Cable Wireless. This is Link Cable Wireless, where sometimes we have sleepy disease, and that's okay. And um, it's me running the show this week, so that's why it's a fucking hot mess, and I don't know where my <laughs> gameplay capture went, um, which is real fun. I could Gamers, be in the wrong scene. I'm too tired to game too tired to stream and so instead i'm not gonna be here <laughs> i just want to say oh uh, uh, link cable wireless for the next couple weeks yeah just as we do life you know um so i don't know where the game went there it is we're, we're probably gonna need a game there's the game i got one don't worry don't worry i got you guys I got you a game, just for Look, me. Look, it's a short hike. It's a short hike, and it's gonna disappear for a second, but then it'll be right back. Uh, ah, bah, bah, bah. Um, yeah, it's a short hike. It is a game Bumper I have. Bumper car area confirmed. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, I don't know if this is a bumper car or not, because I haven't played this game yet. But, um, I'm gonna, right now, because it's been on my to playlist for a very long time and it just came to game pass but i also already owned it from the stuff so from itch.io yeah from itch.io from the either the black lives matter bundle or the ukraine bundle i always get the social justice bundles um and if you can hear police cars it's because they're here because i'm such a good gamer and they're gonna come go get me and bring me to gaming jail I'm anyway. going to leave you to a short hike. I have played this game. It's really, really good. You're going to enjoy it. I'm very excited. I'm going to go eat a salad. Go enjoy your salad. I never get tired of this view. Claire, you're going to have a great time here this summer. I think. It'll be good to get away from the city. And take a break from everything else going on. Are you still awake? Maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. Ooh, it's got good door sounds. I gotta respect that in a game. Oh. Yo! We hiking, baby! Can't light myself on fire, that's good. Hey! How's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You've been busy? Uh, kinda. 
Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Bumper car area confirmed. <laughs> I... I want so badly for there to be a way for, like, any game you play, whenever that sound comes on, just, like, two bumper cars start going at it. Because <laughs> I would love to watch some bumper cars just drive off this cliff. But that's pretty far out, isn't it? It's not that far. Everything will be okay. Oh, I appreciate that sound a lot. Everything will be okay. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh. Yeah. I've been meaning to go. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today is as good as a day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north at the fort. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Z <gasps> Yo. That sounded like a dog. Maybe I'll do voices later, but for now I'm just gonna do the me. Oh, okay, cell phone. So that's what the space park is. I was checking to see if there's a jump. I don't know if there is. Someone redeemed Mandy, but I don't hear anything. Unless that was what the sound of the dog was? If that was Mandy? Okay, there's gotta be a jump. Oh, that was Mandy. Okay, hi Mandy. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I just want to see if there's... How do I jump? Z. Okay. I can do that. Oh, that's a bit for taking parking? Wow. Okay. Um. I, I, I would hope that it, yeah. Okay. Sure. I love, I love Mandy Patinkin. Vladdy's barking? I want to say, how do you? What's your deal? Come here, come here, come here, come here. What's your deal? Blair, did you know? You can hold Z while running to glide through the air. Would have been nice. That <laughs> jump, that's fine. Of course. Everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Um, okay. Wait, uh, how do I glide again? You hold Z while running, dummy! Well, just making sure you haven't forgotten. I never forget anything! I'm a genius! This game is also, I, I did not realize, very bird-centric, which I feel like works very well for a me game. Everything will be okay. It will be. It will be. Hey you! Find me 15 shells. What? Why? I want them. Yeah, but why? It's a secret. I love the old man passing by off screen. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out, please! Yeah, I gotta look for shells. Is that a shell? Yeah! Got one. So that's- we're on the road to 15. You can swim in this game, which is good. I feel like I've been so jaded by games where you're just unable to swim and just immediately drown, so it's nice to be able to swim. The 
This is water. This, this is, water. is water. You would, I, you might not believe it when I say it, but that's okay. Yes, it is. Oh, who's this guy? Oh God, I keep now. I have to like think of voices, and I haven't done this in a very long time. Oh, what? It? Oh, oh, hey, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, that's what that is. How's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah! It's one of those kind of days. Yeah. I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. <laughs> Would you say you feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe... Well, I've got just the thing for you. Take this. Ooh, a compass. To use it, press space to open your inventory. Then select it from the items menu. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, this should come in handy. But happy hiking! A wooden stick. Not sure why I picked this up. Compass tells you which way is north. Toggle on or off. Let's show the compass. Oh, the game, the, the music in this game is so lovely. I want another stick, please. Oh, wait, I want a circle. I want to go back this way. person who's only ever played Animal Crossing. This game gives me Animal Crossing vibes. Ooh, treasure chest. You never be too careful on bridges. That's uh, advice in the real world, too. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Great, awesome. Thanks for lending me the compass. I'll get it back to you when I'm done with my hike. Oh, no! Just keep it! You know what they say! It's good luck to know which way is north! Uh... Do they say that? Actually, I... I'm not sure! But... It certainly can't be bad luck! Speaking of Animal Crossing-ass games, there a fossil in here? Let's go back for that. Treasure chest. <gasps> Frog! I got a coin! Are there any shells over here? Well, there is a shell, but it's up high. So I probably have to jump and glide to get that. Hey, dude. What's happening? Oh, you know. Just jamming out on the beach. Building sand castles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> you know it. Can I borrow your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but it's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. Ones made for sandcastles. <laughs> what? Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'd be glad to trade. Okay. So, our current goals are- Hi, Tammy! Our current goals are 13 shells, and a tiny sandcastle sh uh, shovel. Hey there. What are you up to today? Oh. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that was him. That's not me. The colors are so similar! I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. Well, that's a tough hike. You know. You'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join our rock climbing club? I feel like I've done this voice already. Oh, uh... Is it just the two of you? <laughs> I feel like I make, like, gross throat noises when I'm, like, trying to decide what voice to do. I'm just like... <laughs> hey! The Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning, uh, 
spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing. Pushing Everything will be okay. I appreciate it. Pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Uh, I meant, is it just the two of you, like, here? What of it? Listen, kid. Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um, it's not really that bad. So, anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure. Great. We've got our third member. Not third. Just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. All right, all right. Anyway, so first things first. I keep thinking that this guy dog needs me dogging. You got a golden feather? Oh, uh, not yet. Uh, you can't climb without one. You can find them at the visitor center. They should be pretty cheap. Come back when you bought one. All right. So goals right now are 13 shells, a small uh, shovel for a sandcastle, and a golden feather. I've brought some rumors. Do you like rumors? I dabble. Okay, hear me out. I just Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday. Looking for stuff around the island. It was going nuts, so seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? No, I don't know. Metal stuff? Simply, simply love it when thirteen shells happens. My voice is going to be shot after this. I used to do a lot more, like, standard make of a voice. Do it a lot. But just, I haven't as much anymore. But I'd like to. In the future. So if you ever want me to do any voice stuff, you can always let me know. This short hike seems like it will not be as short as I thought it would be. But I think it also is because I, um... I like to take my time with games. I'm going to assume this is the visitor center. Enjoy a scenic trek to Outlook Point, or follow the Hawk Peak Trail up to the highest point in the Providence. Can I make a request for chat to help me decide what to have for lunch? Absolutely, I have done this in so many chats, like, not just in, um, in, like, Cable 2, but in just, like, random, like, Twitch chats. It's always good to, like, pull the crowd when you're looking for lunch options, or dinner options, mostly for me. Yeah, exactly! Mostly for me, I, like go for dinner when I'm looking from chat, but I was about to say a sandwich. Perhaps a hot sandwich? I don't know if you are a, um, a meat eater, but maybe like a hot, like a turkey and cheese, you know? Or like a, like a pastrami on rye. Just like a nice hot sandwich, or even just like a grilled cheese. A sandwich with a fried egg on it? Yeah. Something like a hot sandwich, um, Considering your possible vegetarian or vegan desires, I don't know what your um, vibe is or your dietary restrictions, but I feel like there's there's hot sandwiches for everyone. Even like gluten-free people can have gluten-free bread and a hot sandwich. So a hot sandwich is our, uh, my suggestion. Um, but feel free to totally ignore it, because sometimes that's what I do. Oh, you love to eat meat. Awesome, so do I. Um, I'm also stopping for a minute because my foot fell asleep, and I would like it to wake up, so I'm gonna just, like, kind of tap my leg a little bit. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oopsie. There we go. Although this island is known for its titular mountain peak, it also is home to another number of beautiful beaches and forests. Egg sandwich, yay! It, uh, did you know? The infamous local dish, strawberries and toast, was invented here at Baja Peak. Please join us at 5 p.m. to enjoy a historical serving of the dish. That sounds lovely. Howdy. 
How can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers here. Ah, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. Ah. Uh, we also sell provin provincial park merchandise. We're kind of low in stock. But that's good, actually. It's been a busy season. Provincial parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, we only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. Okay, well... You know, I have to <laughs> I have to get the golden feather, but I also have to get that hat. Ooh. Is that just a... Oh, can you just get a golden feather from up there? Or is that, like, his stock? Hold on, let's see. Let's do some experimenting. Shoot. Okay. I'm still getting the hang of this flying thing. You know, I can't do this every day. Fly. No, it seems like I can't get enough height from there. So I might just go the other route, the capitalism route. Notice! Hockey Trail is a strenuous hike! You might need golden feathers to complete it. Golden feathers are for sale in the visitor center. Okay. So it seems like right now, my best bet would be to collect coins. I might try again with this golden feather, but I'm feeling like it's not gonna happen from this angle, with the dangle. No, but it's nice to fly. It's fun. Maybe if I collect 13 shells, she'll give me money. Like, that's my thought. And then I can get... the golden feather. Oh, I also- didn't I see another, um... I thought I saw another treasure chest somewhere. I can't remember where. Okay. Yeah, this game's really lovely. I'm- I'm really enjoying just, like, getting to explore and- and, like... It's just enjoyable. I hope you're enjoying it too, chat. I hope you're having a lovely day. If the day wasn't lovely, that's also okay. We all have our... Not so lovely days. Ah, dang. I was, I'm on the right track. Good. There we go. Ah! There we go. Is that the other treasure chest? Okay, it, it is over here. I don't think I can get up here. Get there, get up there. Climb up. Do the bridge. Excuse me! Hot sandwich tip. Any savory sandwich is better with a fried egg on it. Yes, I agree. It's a great, a great tip. I also, um, I'm a fan of adding an egg to rice. I know it's not a, a, uh, mind-blowing or, or new thing, but sometimes, yeah, like, if I'm just having some rice, adding an egg to it is enjoyable. There's, there's very few things that, like, adding an egg to doesn't have at least some sort of, of beneficial quality, I would say, personally. But again, if you are vegan, there's egg alternatives. Some of them aren't great. I've tried some, because, like, um, sometimes I have to watch my cholesterol, and eggs are, have that, but I didn't like any of the egg alternatives that I tried, at least. But I'm sure that there are good ones out there. Oh, 
Oh, a boat! This is not where I'm supposed to be. But I want to meet that sea captain. Oh, dang. Hold on. I want to meet that salt the sea dog. Ooh, a treasure map. Howdy. Hi. What you doing? Taking a break. Her. Don't tell anyone, all right? I won't. I don't even know who I'd tell. Ooh. Homemade jam? That sounds really yummy. <laughs> Good. I cannot wait to be done today. When my shift's over, I'll be out catching some rare fish. It's my hobby, you see. If you happen to net some fish yourself, bring them to me and I'll trade your coin. There we go. I would have had a fishing rod. You know, my friend Bill might be able to lend you one. He's out fishing all the time. Okay, so Bill has the fishing rod. Jim has the metal detector. We are looking for 13 shells. A shovel in which you can build a sandcastle with. And a golden feather. God, I have the biggest brain on the planet. As I said, it's because I have a really big brain. It's a curse. But you can remember all your tasks sometimes. There's some coins and some pickaxes. Yeah. I mean, you can store a lot in stuffing. Like, you know, those stuffed animals with zippers. You can put, like, stuff in. Chicken salad. I haven't had a lot of liverwurst. It's not, like, a meat that's, like, common in my life, at least. Um, I've been doing a lot of, like, and I'm probably gonna go get some maybe even after this. Um, or tomorrow, depending on, like, my timing and my, my vibes. Um, because I did go to, um, H Mart today and got some goodies, but not as much, like, actual, like, food, more like seasonings, and some like chips and stuff, um, but I do want to go to the grocery store to get some, um, I've been doing like honey turkey sandwiches, and they've been delicious, like honey turkey with a little bit of Swiss cheese, um, I, I didn't discover it, but there was a, uh, there was a deli by me that was like serving a sandwich that was that, it was, it was honey turkey, Swiss cheese, lettuce and tomato, honey mustard and apple slices and it was really fucking good um and so i've been kind of making my own sort of um so i have to go get some more apples too Ugh. Ugh. um are you okay no i'm not i'm dying <laughs> of boredom oh <laughs> this is a very serious problem. Okay, poor guy. Hey, Claire. How's it going? Um, I'm alright. How's business? Quiet. At least I'm getting some good reading time in. Is the motorboat booked today? Nope, not yet. You wanna take it for a spin? The rental fee is 100 coins. Ah, I need to save them up for the hat! There is one issue when I go get honey turkey, and it's not a big issue. It just is a thing where, um, you know, sometimes in life, and, and I'm not gonna, you know, judge this person too heavily, like, having a job is hard. Working is really tough, 
Like, I just started my first full-time job, and it's it can be really grating. It can be really difficult. But, like, sometimes you kind of have to pretend you like to do your job. And whenever I go over to the deli of my, my grocery store and I ask him to cut meat for me, he looks at me like I just asked him to cut his own leg off. Like, he just doesn't... He's just not very, um... into his job. Which is, again, fair. But, like, it makes me feel bad because I, like, want my honey turkey <laughs> and I don't know how to like oh it's like I'm sorry that you don't like your job because I probably wouldn't like your job either but I want my turkey <laughs> hey Julie hi how's the day going we're gonna play games all day sounds fun oh yeah that turkey sandwich with mayo mustard American cheese red onion and fried egg Oh, yum! Uh, excuse me, uh, beep, 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 beep. I'm making a phone call to the yummy department, and they say, yum! My neighbors must think that I am the strangest person alive. Which is not entirely incorrect, but... <laughs> anyway, sounds fun! The little sandwich chef knew your your uh, partner's favorite sandwich. I love that. Hey, looks like you've got the net set up. Are you two gonna play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah. We invented our own game. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. All right, Claire. I formally challenge you to a game of beach stickball. Oh, well, before this game of beach stick ball, I have to remember which button is my little Jimmy button. Hold on. There's my little Jimmy- There's my little Jimmy button! Hey, Jim. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. You sound small. I mean, you are small. But, like, you just sound particularly small today. Yeah, I'm getting smaller. Oh, I, I, or is that something like a goal or a, a something you're excited about or? It's more emotional. Oh, okay. Um, Jimmy, what kind of sandwiches do you like? We're talking about, like, sandwiches that we enjoy. You know, there's something, there's something good about... Like a classic turkey and cheese. We were just talking the about that. The tomato and the lettuce. We were just talking about it. I was saying that my a local deli does a little twist and it adds a little bit of it's honey turkey, honey mustard, and a little bit of apple slices too. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. That what sounds is pretty good. Like what was your go to like or like like you know, like you gotta pack a lunch for school. Like what was your go to? I know you. I mean, you are twenty nine, so it's it's been a while. So, I mean, but what did you eat a lot of when you got stabbed in that cave? Um, you know, I had a lot of time to think about things. Mhm. Mm Is that what you ate? You just kind of ate up the time. Yeah, I really ate it up. Yeah, I'm. Proud of you for that, by the way. I don't know if I, I don't know. Today's like a chill, fun episode where we're just kind of having a having a good time talking about things we like. And I just want to express, Jimmy, that you are my good friend, and I love having you on the stream. You're my good friend too. Oh, I'm so glad. But Jimmy, you know while we. I don't we... know why I sound like this. That's okay. Um, but can we? But I am getting smaller. Yeah, can we talk about something really fast though, since we have this time, just the two of us? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't want your cousin to ever come on the show ever again. Um, for those of you who are not aware, uh, Jimmy's Canadian cousin came oh. on the show a couple weeks ago, and I just, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I, Jim's is kind of a lot. 
Yeah, he's a little bit much, and like I don't, I don't want to be mean about it, but I felt like in this like calm, low key, safe space that we're talking about sandwiches, I could just throw out there that I never want to see your cousin's face again. No, yeah, that's that's the tone of the conversation. Yeah. Do you have any grievances you want to air? Appropriate to say in any context. Yeah. This, this would be a good space if you need to air any grievances about like cable or life or anything. Feel free to feel free to do so. Have you ever had a, like a chicken parm sandwich? You know, I haven't, and I want to change that because I I for a while was like I don't know. You know, I go through different phases with texture, and I I used to not be very into the texture of chicken, but I'm trying to get more into it, so I feel like I would really enjoy a good chicken parm sandwich. Yeah, I need to get some, like, scrimps and avocado, no, I was gonna say avocado, but I meant to say jalapeno, so I they're both pretty good. I, I'm not a big jalapeno fan. I don't, it's, you think, are you saying chicken parm and avocado? Yeah, it was a mistake. Okay, <laughs> Been getting really into this band lately called Chicken. Yeah. They, uh, sometimes they toured with Jimmy's like old band. Chicken when they collab with Bump Owls. With who? Bump Owls. I don't know if I know them. There's a band called Bump of Chicken. Oh, is there? Great. How have things been going with your band, Jimmy World? Oh, I'm sorry. Did something happen, or are you just creative We're differences? Go on a tour soon. Oh, no way, dude! Where are you going? We're gonna go to all the places that I can sit in Melbourne a little bit smaller. Nice. So, like, is it gonna be like, like a? Now that I can get into smaller folds, we're gonna play in smaller venues. Nice. So, are we thinking smaller, like? I don't know, like a ten person, fifteen person like bar venue or smaller like um like the crack in between my walls. I was thinking you're getting about Jerry. About Tom where? And Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Oh yeah, like okay. Yeah. Like in one of the mouse yeah, houses. Like hanging out with them. Yeah. I would like go and like lie on my chest and put my arms by my face and just like uh, dangle my feet up in the air like a silly little a silly little person and, and listen to you perform out of a, a Tom and Jerry mouse hole, for the record. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, we should do, we should do that sometime. I'll give, I'll give you guys free tickets. Whoa, really? I, I mean, I would have paid full admission, but I really appreciate it. I mean, how many people do you think we could stick in front of the mouse hole? Like, I feel like the best seat would be, like, right in front, and then probably, like, in the room, you'd still get an experience, but not as good of an experience. We could probably fill, like, maybe 20 people. Mm-hmm. But that would be a little close to a fire hazard. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but listen, for Jimmy Eat World, not the one that sang the song in the middle, but your band, I would do anything. Because I'm a fan yeah, of you, Jimmy. Jimmy. Eat World and it's spelled not the way you expect it to be spelled. Oh. How is it, sp how is it spelled? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess everybody in the chat, guess how you think Jimmy Eat World is spelled? While we talk about beach stick ball, just making sure that the it does come back on stream. There it is. Ooh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yay! So. How do you play? Step over to the other side of the court, and I'll teach you everything I know. I lost the voice because I forgot what voice I was doing. 
Oh, yes. Please, please do tell me your uh, boyfriend's or your partner's sandwich order. Toasted turkey sandwich on an alpine grain bread with butter, mozzarella, cheese, Dijon, mushroom, salt, and pepper. That sounds yummy. That sounds great. Ugh, now I really do want to go get sandwich stuff after this. We'll see. So. Beach stick ball only has three simple rules. Rule number one. Hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two. Don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie is the rat, so it's all up to her. All up to me. Rule number three. Believe in yourself. Sandwich. That's the most important rule. And I believe that. In life, too. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? Sorry I lost all of the voices. I'll get them back eventually. I guess so. Okay, ready, set, go. I lost. Oops. Did I lose? Nope! You can never lose. Great. When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball. Then I guess you lose. Otherwise, beach stick ball is a purely co-op game. You mean- Oh, sorry. Purely coop game? You mean co-op game? Yeah, coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. Okay, wait, so now I have to figure out how to actually, like, use my stick. Click the stick. Oh, no, wait, fuck. Okay. Link Cable is a coop game. Use item X, okay. counted five. The surf doesn't count. What? Totally counts. What do you think, Claire? It counts. Yeah, see? Fine. You got five points then. Alright. We can do this. Oh, fuck. I hit the wrong button. We can still do it, though. Nine! Fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is- that's the vibe that I like. Because I was saying the other day, I was like, Link Cable's vibes are like, you can watch and be like totally engaged in our streams, and like, hell yeah, that's great. But, um, also, because we're such- at least, because one of the hosts, i.e. me, is not great at games, um, it's also just a great stream to like, throw on while you do something else. So I am happy for you to just throw out this stream in your sleeping mode. Shoot, we're so close, okay. We're trying for 20. Yeah, Link Cable's- a, I mean, not Link Cable, this is Link Cable. Long Haul is a great sleepy time stream. I should get back on track, but I'll probably come back and try to do 20. Unfortunately, um... Long Call tends to start while I'm already asleep. But, like, if, if it, like, so happens that I am not asleep, I definitely Long Haul is a fun one to throw on. Which is, speaking of which, I have a, a grape to, to uh, make to the universe. Which is that, you know, um, I'm not 
so disappointed, but I have a, you know, it's, it could be a little disappointing. Uh, I can't play the new Pokemon Sleep game because I sleep with you should like a YouTube video or a stream on. And you need to have the, the, uh, the stream open, or the game, like, the app open in order to get it to count for your Pokemon Sleep. So I just can't participate. Which is kind of lame. I know. Everybody's talking about their Snorlaxes. Yeah, it's like rain sounds like it's like at this point so many people including myself have like created and curated nighttime routines that surround using your phone in a more like sleep healthy way like some people you know it's like the blue light it's bad and that's not something I disagree with but um you know there's other ways to like effectively like use your phone in the evening times Um, and so, like, you know, anybody who has that routine is kind of, I guess, alienated is a strong word, but yeah, like, not, not able to participate in Pokemon Sleep. Yeah, it's like, after you put your Pokemon to bed, you can't pick up your phone, so... No, it's Pokemon Sleep like for me, but also, like, sometimes, um, um, if you're looking for, like, a fun video game podcast, I've talked about it on here before, because I sometimes will promote, like, cable streams in their, uh, chat. Uh, Get Played just did an episode on it, um, and that was, like, a, one of the, like, kind of gripes that Heather had with it w would be one that I think I would have if I had the ability to participate, which is that, like, when you play a game, you want to be good at it, and, like, gamifying sleep like, can cause a lot of stress if you, like, are like, I gotta min-max my sleep. Like, that's not... It's not an effective or healthy way to... to, to, you know, do the dang thing. Yeah, also, like, I mean, the, they were saying on the, on the podcast that, um, it can be, like, a fire hazard. I had not heard that, um, but I could see why, you know, like, why it might be considered a fire hazard to, like, have your phone face down on your bed plugged in. But that's, that's how I and usually end up, right? Because, like, I have my phone plugged in overnight and I've just got a video on and I toss and turn, so usually it does end up, like, face down on my bed plugged in but yeah I was gonna say I think it also depends on the model of phone like my phone doesn't get particularly hot unless it's like because usually like I'll, the videos that I put on are usually no longer than like I don't know like three hours but if I put on like a nine hour germa compilation then my phone gets hot but usually like that's not a concern at least like for my model of phone Ah, hey. This is proving to be harder than I thought. Well, hey, at least I'm back where I started. But I have my golden feather now, so I can join the rock climbing club. I don't think I have enough shells for her yet. Let me check though. No, oh, that wasn't this shell girl. This is the shell girl. Oh, 15. Okay, I think I have 10. Yeah, I have 10. Rock climbing club. Rock climbing club. Rock climbing club. 
Got a golden feather? Yep. Great. So to get started, you can try climbing this short wall here. Just push against the wall and hold C. Why am I struggling? What is going on? Hold up and see? Oh, there we go. Nice one. Whatever. That climb is easy. Real pros use the big wall. Okay, don't use the big wall then. Get out of the way. Okay. No, I no, I'm not. I'm just trying to hit Z. Like the that's annoying. That like, like I I appreciate that there's like very few interactive buttons, but it is hard sometimes when you like simply want to be doing a task and see. And I always like. It seems like I automatically lean in one direction. See, like, it automatically, like, makes me go around, and I'm not sure why. Well, I would have had it if it wasn't for the stinking squirrel. Oh, I just- I just can't climb it yet? Oh, okay. That would make sense. And yeah, I feel like this game would be more comfy, at least for me, on a controller. But I don't have a controller. Yeah, I need more feathers. Okay, well, I can get more feathers. I think I have enough money for them. Let's find out. If not, I just have to find Tim and his metal detector. Money. Hmm. I was planning to go hiking on Hawk Peak, but the path suddenly got really steep. You think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Yeah, at least there's some other things there. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, hi! Hi! Are you okay? Uh, not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today. I've lost my lucky headband. I've worn it to every race I've ever run. I I don't know if I could race without it. Where'd you lose it? Somewhere in Blackwood Forest. I think. I could take a look for you. Really? Can you do that for me? Sure. Yeah, you are haha, right headband. Give you a reward, a pair of running shoes. Sponsored by a shoe company. Ten pairs. Congrats. Oh haha, thanks for the red headband. Okay. I just realized that like if I want to try to beat some of this day or get a good chunk done that I should probably speed up a little bit. Oh, a shovel! This guy's not even gonna know what hit him. Was it not over here? Where is it? Go. Where was the guy? Wasn't he over here? Oh, there he is. Hey, check out the shovel I found. 
Might be a little more your size. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. Yeah, baby. When you want to use my shovel, press space to open your inventory and open. Keep it fresh. Now I'm just gonna make holes everywhere. Boop. Almost afford the hat, but I need the. Well, actually, I don't need the second golden feather, but it would be good to have one, especially since considering I do the multiple stuff. Yo, wait! Oh, uh, weird question, but where'd you get that headband? Oh, uh, I don't know. I had it for ages. Why? Oh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. You said you lost your headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe. I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said it was lucky and needs it to race. I suppose I'm supposed to race her later today. She's so talented, I've been really looking forward to it. Hmm. What if I gave you mine? Pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice. Oh, hmm. But then it wouldn't be lucky? No, well, I don't know. Just take it. See if she wants it. Okay. Well, let's see if it's lucky. Can you look under my head in it? Well, I found this. Hmm, that's not it. No, sweat the sweat stains aren't in the right place. Ew. Which fence? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. Oh, it's twice as lucky. Quadruple lucky! Running shoes. Oh, running requires golden feathers. Okay. Let me go back to the visitor center and get that second golden feather. I also might save some of this game for another um, disconnected stream, but I don't know when the next one of that's gonna be. But if not, I can also just find another time to like jump on and uh, it's bad. to jump on and and finish it up. Oh, okay, this guy lost his watch. Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It really is aggressive. I don't think it would have been very useful for um, making sandcastles. Center is. Where's the visitor center? Visitor center is. Down, but how far down? Visitor Center. I have a treasure map, but not a regular map, which can be a little bit frustrating. Oh, okay, here we are. It's the, yeah. Because I needed the extra golden leaf to be able to get this guy out of it. Or the extra golden feather. Sorry, it looks like a leaf. I think this will do it. 
Ah, oh, shoot. I think I'm just still too far. Or I'm just not coordinated as a human being enough. If you see a little occasional pausing, that's on my end, not yours. It's been something going on with my computer for the last couple of days. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Nice, another golden bag. Not my even a third one. Okay, now I only need. Okay, and now I only need five more coins to go get a uh, that hat, which I'm very passionate about. And now I can probably climb the big wall too, which I think is back that way. Yep, here's the big wall. Nice. Whoa, good climbing. Yeah, it was alright. So, I know you can fly and all, but your stamina will last longer if you climb places instead. Well, good to know. Just something to keep in mind. Cool. So what's next? To Hawk Peak! Oh, okay. I still need to warm myself up, but I'll see you there. Alright. Just gonna take a second to stretch, drink some water. Oh, and this is about the time of the stream where I checked to see if any of the cats at the shelter were adopted. We had one guinea pig and two cats adopted today. Take my phone call. Hot day. It's gonna be enough? Yes, it's enough to get my hat! Hell yeah! Hell yes! Hell yeah, brother! Breaking bridges. I okay, hate they don't have bumpers. Speaking of which, I, uh, a couple of friends of mine ended up going bowling the other day. We were talking about bowling with or without bumpers, and apparently they bowled without bumpers, and it was miserable. And I can imagine it would be. I only bowl with bumpers, because why would you torture yourself and bowl without bumpers? And if people say it's the baby way to do it, or the cheater way to do it, um, they're babies and cheaters and losers, so... It's... it's complicated. I've always had issues with, like, walking in certain directions because of my visual impairments. Howdy. I want a hat! I want a hat! I'll take it! Yeah, baby! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. People like to play the sport of bowling, and I think that is fair, but I think the sport of bowling could have bumpers. But yeah, I've always struggled um, in with certain like visual tasks in games, and I am trying to learn why. Wah! Wah! Um, but I'm more or less just function the way I function. And that's that. I also just can kind of amble better on like when I started playing video games, I started playing video games like that were Nintendo Dogs pretty um late in the game. And I only really played on controllers, so playing mouse and keyboard is technically still kinda of new to me, so like this kind of like mouse keyboard navigation is well. Or in my like gaming sense, so I'm still like learning the best ways to, to do it. Ooh. 
Wow! This is awesome! I love this. It's really cool. Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, you know, with my visual, it's something that I've spoken about a lot with my visual and perceptual impairments. Video games can be a little bit harder, but I find them just as, if not more, enjoyable. Because they're really, like, working these muscles that I sometimes struggle with. And I feel like I'm constantly learning more about myself and the way I am ambulate in the world, so to speak. And if you can hear the cop cars again, that's because, again, they're taking me to gamer jail. Because I'm such a good gamer. And they need to study me. Hey-o! How's the heck treating ya? Oh, uh, it's been nice. It's really beautiful here. I know, right? You from the top was so good. You made it up to Hawk Peak? Oh no, that's too intense for me. I just come from Outlook Point. I'm gonna do a few rounds to get my exercise in. Not to brag, but I'm pretty fast. Maybe I'll see you up there in a few. Yeah, I'll meet you up at the top. Oh. Ah! I also have to decide what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight, because I got a bunch of food for tomorrow. It's a good night. I don't know. Let's see if the grocery store is still open for me to get that turkey. I'll just have some fridge or freezer food. Ha! Ah! Frig! Frig on beans! Beans on toast. Uh, what's the game called? The Watcher? Yeah, it's me, look, I'm the Watcher! I'm the Watcher! I'm watching! Like the Watcher. I haven't played the game. I watched Firewatch. That's the game. Firewatch. I'm like Firewatch. Oh, I never called me better. I think that's what the game's called. Whatever. I'm good at games. John, yeah, John Firewatch from Firewatch. That's me. I have not played Firewatch. I was gonna say I only played the part of the Stanley Parable that had the Firewatch part of it, but then I remembered I never actually played the Stanley Parable. I just watched it be played. Um, but, like, that's the kind of game where, like, you get the same experience whether or not you watch it or participate in it yourself, I think. And that is not a dig on the game. I think the game is more enjoyable for that. Um, I really enjoy the Stanley Parable. I think it is... Probably one of my top 10 games of all time. Again, even though I've never picked up a controller and played the new one. Like, I played the old one back in the day, but I just really enjoyed the new content. So wait, so where- how do I get where I want to go? That's the lookout point. What's the other, like, point in which I can reach? Because this is still technically kind of Black Hawk Trail. Oh, maybe am I supposed to use my cell phone up there? Like, is, is this the point at which I am supposed to, like, take out my cell phone? Not even games work offline! What the hell? Where am I supposed to go from here? What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Oh, like over here. Okay. Ooh, lake. Maybe we'll find the fishing guy over here.
This is like the beginning or the end of the race. That's fun. The lighthouse, like from the movie. With Robert Pattinson. And Willem Dafoe. I can see my house from here. <clears throat> hey, Aunt May! Is that? Yeah, it's me! Can you hear me? Sure can. Okay. Come on up there. Yeah, I will! Okay, cool. Okay. I'm having a great time, and I hope you are too. Or at least just enjoying the stream, enjoying the vibes. Running is my life. I run marathons all around the world. Whoa! Coin. Oh, shiny coin. It's dangerous to go slow. You heard it here first, folks. Um, somebody who's played this game, can you tell me, um, like, if I get to the top, can I, like, go back and do all the other stuff? Because it could be fun if today I, like, got to the top and did, like, the phone call, and then if I could go back and do all the, like, other fun stuff that there is to do, I will do that. But I just want to know if I can, or if I have to, uh... If I have to, like, get everything done before I, like, reach the peak. I'll keep heading for the peak and if anybody is able to answer me, great. If not, we will shrimply see what happens. Yo, who's this guy? Big kid. You wanna buy some golden feathers? If I remember probably yes, cool. Yeah, okay. Hey, cool. Look at how twice the feather. But that's more than twice as much as the visitor center. Do my feathers from them then? Maybe I will. So you're gonna buy my feathers or what? Nope. Whatever, suit yourself. At least seven golden feathers. Okay. Well I'm gonna need some more feathers then. But I'm not going to buy them from this bozo. And there's a chance that I just don't make the peak today. Which is fine. Again, I will pick this up another time. Such a beautiful little game. I'm happy to do so. What's this? I see. So, what's nice is, again, those, like, little missions that I wanted to do anyway, it now seems like they're not only, like, they're a little more necessary than I thought, which I appreciate. 
It's like, I like to do them anyway. There's like social, like, help people out. Like, those are always fun little missions and games, but... It's cool when they also have like a, a bigger merit and... and... Um, oh! Thank you! I'm always happy to provide good vibes. And since I'm here... Oh, I don't have a shovel. Hold, I have my shovel. Hold, hold on. Oops. Hit the wrong button. I'm glad the vibes are good! That was my goal for today, you know? Life can be stressful. And sometimes, I just need to go on a short hike with your friends. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I feel like some people, if, if they were like, this is batch, this is background noise, would consider that to be like a an insult to the content, but I consider it to be a compliment, because it means like, it's relaxing enough to be like, comfort content, but it also like, is engaging enough to keep you, like, to be a good thing to do in the background. So I, I for one, think it's great. My eyes are starting to get tired. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at beach stick ball, but it's a good thing that it's a game that you can't lose. This is what actual gym class was like for me, if you're curious with, like, all of my, like, perceptual issues and everything, like, fully, it was like, I- I know I'm right under the ball! And then I would be, like, three feet away. So I'm glad that y'all can- can get a little, uh, glimpse into my childhood trauma. Three feet stick ball. not so bad. How many was that? 17! Okay, we're close. Alright, I'll pick up the beach stick well for now. I'll be back for more. And I'd like to find the rest of those shelves. Because the reward there might be money or a gold or better. And those would both be great. But yeah, I can feel my eyes getting a little tired. I don't talk about it much, like my visual stuff, because usually it really doesn't impact me day to day. But like sometimes with these does take a little bit of a toll. My eyes are just tired and my muscles get pretty weak pretty fast and then I also just have like some perceptual issues with like again understanding space which hey now I can show this to any future eye doctors they're like what do you mean and I can just be like look you see how in, in beach stick ball I thought that I was under the ball but I was two feet away so pretty too.
We're getting close, baby. Twelve shells. Feathers. I think if they said, like, the way that it was kind of described in that sign first, I'm definitely gonna want to get, like, ten feathers. Just to be on the safe side. Yo, look at all the same castles he built. <laughs> oh no! He lost! We're heading up the trail. Get the trauma, whoopee! Okay, Jim has the metal detector, but no shovel. Okay, alright. So then that kid bought all the feathers. Alright, that's fine. So I'll have to go back up there and buy some from him. But in the meantime, again, I'll, I'll look for some shells or something. Especially because I will need more than the expected amount because I'm a little baby. I hit the end of the map. Cool. I always love when maps do that, when they have like the buoys to be like, oh, it's dangerous to swim back there. Wink! some beach soon. Now I'm just going down there. I'm not saying much at the moment, but I think that's okay. I think we're all just enjoying the vibes in the game. So, 
sorry for apologizing for something I don't have to apologize for. If that ain't, like, the, the pinnacle of, like, what it's like to be an over-apologizer to apologize for something you don't have to apologize for. Okay. Blah! Yes, the setup is 100% legal. Uh, yes, I have a camp valid camping permit. Oh, it's because I'm wearing the hat. Wait. Uh, fine, fine, you got me. Hold on. I lost it. I'm a terrible liar. I'm a mess. Uh... Please don't write me up. I can bribe you. Ooh, we got bait. <laughs> Did you really just hand me a fistful of worms? It's fishing bait. I'm desperate. What would you do? Well, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Wait, really? Aren't you a junior ranger? Nope. My aunt's a ranger. But I'll work for her. Oh, well. You won't tell, right? Nah. Good. I guess. You can keep the bait. Thanks. Where'd you lose the permit? Well, you might not believe me. Try me. I fish hate it. <laughs> what? Come on. Really? It does sound a little fishy. <laughs> Mysterious. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast, but but it's <laughs> wait. Sorry, this is um, this is uh, this is our friend Cole. It's already the afternoon. Tomorrow's breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes when I'm about to go to bed, I get so excited by the thought that I have trouble sleeping. Oh, I love that. Our mutual friend Cole also has a deep love for breakfast. Oh, is this the guy? How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I can show you if you'd like. Yeah! Here. I'll launch my spare rod. Fishing rod! Woohoo! Catching your line's pretty easy. Just press X. Woo. So... Uh... What do I do now? You wait. Okay. Uh, am I doing this right? Yep. Maybe I should cast again? You know, find a better spot? The spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes. You just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm. Not my strong suit. Look alive! Fish is nibbling. Should I pull it out? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Yoink! Oh, what do I do now? Pull back and tap X to reel it in. <laughs> I fell in the water! Mm -hmm. Interesting technique. This is just an accident! That's alright. Just give it to me a quick shot, remember. Once you took the fish, pull back. So, like, I thought that's what I was doing, but I fell off the, the thing. <laughs> there we go. I caught a fish. Didn't get to do that. Okay. 
I might call it about here today. This is a lot of fun, um, and I enjoyed just chilling out with you guys. Um, and yeah, this is really great. I'm excited to, to come back to this game. Like I said, if, uh, if I don't do it in like a coming week, I will set up a separate stream time to just come on and chill and play some of this uh, really fun game. So, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, I hope you have a wow! I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, I hope you sleep well. I hope you eat well. I hope you have a good time. And will Jimmy finish us up? Oh, what'd you get? You sorry what? Did you did you get something? You made this sound like you got something. Um, I just got in bad at these problems. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, any. No, but what's cool for an attitude? Uh, well, Jimmy, I'm not even gonna pretend I understood what you said. You gotta say it one more time. Oh, you've got a cool, fun attitude? I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I thought you said you had problems. Yeah. But I'm glad that you instead have a and cool, fun attitude. A yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, any any parting words for, for the, the Link Cable fans? Um, let me ask you my good friends. Um, bye. Okay. <laughs> But, yeah. Mm -hmm. And anything else? Gangnam Style. Yeah, that's pretty good. And yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all he had to say. Um, oh. I I knew he had more to say. He's a rascal. He is. You know what? You're right. He is a little rascal. That. That get side Gangnam style. Hey. hey! He's always talking and he's always saying hey. What? Oh, so true. Thank you for joining me on this. So chill, yeah, for sure. Thank you for joining me on this chilling cable, Jimmy. Thank you for chilling on this chilling cable. I'm happy to do so. It's always always a pleasure um and you will maybe not see me next week and i don't think you'll see jimmy either Did, what do you, anything exciting going on jimmy i'm gonna burn <laughs> like you're gonna burn or like you're gonna burn something else Awesome, so I'm gonna be at work and Jimmy's going to burn, and um, maybe I will do a quick call in um, after work. Uh, we'll see how timing works out. Um, but Jimmy won't be calling in because he's going to burn. So, so yeah, um, we'll miss you next week. Or at least, I don't know, I wanna speak for little Jimmy. Hi, little Jimmy, will you miss them? Okay, so little Jimmy will think about missing you, and I will also. I thought about it and I will. Oh, okay, great. So then we will we will both miss you next week. Cool. Yeah. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your evening or day or life or whatever. Um, I've been Mish. Um, I don't think I've ever like plugged myself, but I realize I don't have much to plug anymore because I don't, I don't use like Twitter or anything like that. But you can um. I guess you can follow me on Blue Sky at me. Is... Like what month it is? What'd you say? Don't you post about what the new month is on your Twitter? Oh account? yes, that is true. Um, every month on my Twitter account, I do post a theme for the month with my friend Hazel. Um, what are we in right now? I think we're in Fragrance August, if I remember correctly. That's a good one. Yeah. 
Um, so you could follow me there at Past Cool Beans. Um, or you could follow me on Blue Sky at Mishes. Or you can, um, don't follow me around anywhere else. Yeah, it's Fragrance August. Uh, and you can and you can follow Jimmy on his Twitch account at Little Jimmy Vivo. This is true, um, but I I don't mean much, but when I do, I do. Yeah, it's true. When 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 Little Jimmy's a gamer, they're a gamer. They also would get taken in by the gaming police oh, for way. questioning. Yeah. Have you been questioned yet by them? Uh, I've been avoiding them. Oh, good. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's the best like course of action in that sense. Yeah, when I see a boy in blue, I divert the course. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do that. Alright, well... Go. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. And I'm gonna send you guys to somewhere. Where am I gonna send you? I guess I could send you to Ryan Chango's show. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, go go hang out at a Ryan Chango show. Scream, scream. Oh, did they? I don't know. Um. Maybe they- oh, cool! Sorry, I didn't know that! Go check out Scout's stream! Um, they're streaming some Pokemon thing. I love their streams. I love Mad Rat Monday. Um, I- but I should keep up with their personal lore. Maybe wrong? Okay, well, either way, Chango Show's fun. Go check them out, and thank you for cabling- linking cables with me. Um, I love you, but not actually, because, uh, Parasocial love is bad. Okay, bye.